Welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And today we've got our match day program watch, the home edition. We don't rate it, we just have a quick look if there's anything worth reading. And I've got this from, uh, yes, I, I do get that one. On, I do actually buy a couple when I go to the game for me and my lad, but obviously I always get one sent through the post as well through this reachsports.com, which we'll talk about in a second. We can get the subscription. So I'm doing this before the Liverpool game, but I do have the Liverpool programme. So obviously I can't comment on what happened. Uh, you'll know uh, at some stage. You might know when you're watching this. You might know. You might know afterward. You might know. Uh, obviously, like me, not know. Depending when I put this out, so I'm not too sure yet because I've got um, an Atletico Madrid one to put out. So. I'll, I might put this out on the morning of the game. Uh, you'll know whenever you're watching it, or I might put it out after the Atletico Madrid one, just to uh, just, just for uh, obviously just, just so we know, isn't it? If we, if we put it out on the morning of the game, it's at least a little brief look at the program before you get to the game and get to the match. So yes, it's a normal three pound fifty for eighty four pages for this. City Liverpool match up on the 10th of April 2022. And as I said, subscriptions are available and get 26 copies and they work out at £3.25 each. So you save, you save yourself 25p from www.reachsportshop.com. And of course, if you're out, that's £84.50 for the UK. If you're outside of the UK in Europe, it's uh, another 65 on top. And if you're the rest of the world, another 80 on top. So still great value for money. Although, as you know, if you watch my vlogs, I don't think it's the greatest match day program uh, that's out there by any means. But uh, hey, it's it's a bit of history, isn't it? It's a memento at the end of the day, and that's what I like to see. So let's have a look. Yeah, a good, good cover again. I like the cover uh, with KDB, Bernardo, and Raheem on it. Uh, an apparent cinema marquee sign of the game. I like that little touch. And I've seen little images that City have put out on on the internet as well on social media very similar similar sort of things so they've used that design which is very good and of course some old heroes faded there in the background if you look very closely including uh, Sane and Aguero of course in games against Liverpool Pep yeah Pep's column he wants his players to play with personality give all give their all and have no regrets well that's all we can ask isn't it that's all we can ask uh, Jesus is the main article and apparently he's hitting top form. Well, he doesn't get many goals at it, does he? He doesn't get much chance, but obviously he's hoping to hit top form as we meet the business end of the season, of course. Uh, just a little fact on Jesus. His City debut was a, uh, came on as a late substitute for Raheem Sterling in a 2-2 draw with Tottenham in January 2017. Doesn't seem that long ago, does it, guys? Over about five and a half, well, five and a bit years ago. So it doesn't seem that long ago. And City Matters, yeah, they're interviewing some of the guys on City Matters. I'm obviously looking forward to when they do my mate, uh, Colin Savage. But they do uh, uh, the guy, Mohamed Ula, today, who's obviously the BAME. He's obviously the BAME representative. BAME, Black, Asian or Mixed Heritage. So he's uh, he's the actual uh, guy that City Matters are interviewing and asking about him, City and, and what he does and what, what, he, what it involves on the City Matters committee, etc. So... That's okay, just a page, it's not any great in-depth look, but I say they do one every now and then. Kevin Cummings, of course, the photographer, well-known photographer, has talks about a photo shoot with Roxy Music. I used to like a bit of Roxy Music back in the day. In sunny Southport, yeah, not on the beach, it would have got lost, wouldn't it? In 1974, hey, I might have visited Southport around 1974 or somewhere like that. Any? Probably, probably the late 70s, early 80s when I was uh, visiting Southport, I didn't... I think I had a couple of trips to one of the camps. There's a couple of holiday camps. They used to be on Butlins or a Pontins or something like that anyway. But, uh, yeah, so Kevin Cummings talks about our little photo shoot with Roxy Music. Head to head, it's not a player this week. It's, it's Pep versus Klopp, which is nice. Yeah, some interesting stats. Identical goals. That's uh, we scored under Pep and, uh, and Klopp. 536 for City and 536 for Liverpool. Uh, but Klopp has played 30 games more. So, obviously, as you'd expect, Pep's far better. Played for both. We've got, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we'll get to the Colo, Colo, Colo Tori, because you've obviously got Colo Tori in there. Has played for both. Others, not so obvious ones, which I had a quick look at to see when they played for uh, for City. Anyway, I'm not that bothered about when they played for Liverpool. But uh, Jimmy Ross, yeah, he played for City between 1898 and 1901. 
played 69 times and scored 22 goals. That wasn't a bad return. Fred Howey played in 1938, just six games, but he scored five goals. That's not bad going, is it? And Harry Race, there's a great name for a footballer. Perhaps he was, he was Roy's, uh, Roy's granddad, I'm not too sure. He played for City between 1930 and 32. Only managed 11 full appearances, but he scored. He chipped in with three goals, so... It would have been nice to think he got them all in one game, but I, I don't think he did. I should have checked that. Couldn't I? I have got the information, but I didn't I didn't see that. But I'm sure it wasn't all in the same game. The blast from the pass looks back to 2018-19, a key game against Liverpool. Of course, at the Etihad, they came to, to our place seven points ahead, if you remember that season. And a 2-1 win uh, for us would put us within four points. So, well, we know the end to that season, don't we? And so there's some images and a brief summing up of the game. On blast from the past. Gary James, yeah, unusual one this week. He looks back at some of the great City fan songs. Almost all of them are new when I was reading through the article. Uh, obviously, you go from You'll Never Walk Alone to the Vikings uh, onto Blue Moon, of course. But uh, it's an interesting article on all the different, you know, back to the 20s and what was what was sung at Hyde Road, etc., etc. What's in the name? We've got James McAtee, who's... Actually, there's a couple of really, really boring facts, but I won't bore you with those. Uh, he was actually born in Salford in October 2002. Not, all right, not a stunning fact, but I, I was struggling to find anything really interesting. Uh, no offence, James, you're only a young lad. You probably haven't done too much yet. But, uh, yeah, so born in Salford, October 2002. So he'll be 20 this year. Oh, he plays a lot older than that, doesn't he? X in the city, we've got Colin Henry, and he talks about his time with uh, or how he got on with manager Howard Kendall. And the day, yes, the day, interesting little read, he turned into Gaza. I'll let you buy this to find out how he did that, but yeah, he turned in, he did his old Gaza impression. You might remember it actually, so but I'm not gonna give him too much away. You might be you might be buying the program based on this little review. Half time quiz, answer at the end. There you go, keep you get your brains going. When was the last season? This is interesting. I didn't I didn't have a clue on this one, so we'll see if you can do any better than I did. When was the last season either City or Liverpool uh were out of the top so another both clubs, sorry, City and Liverpool were actually out of the top three at the end of the season, not not during the season. But uh, which season was it when City and Liverpool weren't in the top three? What was the last time at least one of them wasn't in that top three? So have a think on that one. I'll give you the answer in a few moments. A more in-depth look at the stats this season for uh, the City women. So it just looks like we didn't get off to the greatest start. They had a few problems, but they seem to be finishing on a high, which is very good. The great expectations that fuel the under-18s as they get to the business end of the season as well. And in the ADS feature, quite a little, good, nice little article, actually, looking at both Edozi and Delap, who came back from, from long-term injuries and how they coped, how they got back into the routine, etc. So I enjoyed that article. Buzzword, yeah, again, he's just talking about what he expects for today's game. I, I wouldn't have minded a few little insights into sort of anything he remembers from playing Liverpool in his time, you know, just a specific game or something that happened. But it's really just all about the two clubs and what he expects, as, as we all say. We all, we all come up with our own versions. So, again, an opportunity missed for me for, in Buzzword. So there you go. Again, not fantastic. It is. I mean, you know, I say the the city. When you think of some of the old city programs of the past, you go back, what say it's about ten seasons, and you look at some of the stuff in those programs compared to this. It's it is a bit weak. They need you know. But having said that, is it you know is it worthwhile and putting more effort in? Because I don't think they sell the numbers to make any sort of money out of this. It's just something they do. Uh, as part of being a top club, they have to have a match magazine. But perhaps if they promoted it a little bit better as well, they could probably do, we've talked about it before, probably do a lot better with this, put better articles in it. And we don't have a magazine anymore or anything like that. So why not? Say we've got King of the Kid Packs, which we're grateful for. But uh, I think there's still room for people, especially with the worldwide uh, fans now, obviously, they, they're growing all right. It's not as massive as other clubs, but it, it is growing bit by bit. So, yeah, I, I sometimes think they miss a trick, but hey, I'm, I'm sure you never know. One day, the uh, magazines might make a bigger comeback. They are expensive now, of course, aren't they? I, I always pick up a magazine to, to read on the coach if I'm going to an away match, look at the price and put it back. So, <laughs> there you go. Anyway, yeah, so that was my best piece. Yeah, I think my favourite thing was just reading a bit about a Dolzian Dilapat returning from injury in Gary James, of course. I don't have to tell you that, do I? 
But uh, yeah, that was probably my favourite little article. A little bit, a little bit of interest. Not no in depth stuff, but again, at least it interested me. And the half time quiz answer, guys. Yes, when was the last season? City or Liverpool were out of the top three. And, of course, it was a Leicester winning season, wasn't it, when Leicester became champions. And can you remember the year 2015, 2016? So it finished. And can you remember, I mean, do you remember what order it was? It was, uh, yeah, I, I forget this totally. Uh, Leicester in second spot were Arsenal. And, of course, uh, third in a, in a, in a two-horse race were Spurs, of course, who finished third that season. So Leicester, Arsenal, Spurs. So 2015-16 was the last time. Either City or Liverpool were not in the top three. So it's not that one ago, is it? Only up to, what, six seasons ago? Because obviously they're going to be in the top three this season, aren't they? Anyway, so as I said, please check out. And it's worth, as I say, if you want it as a memento and a bit of history. And sometimes you arrive before the game as well. Not often. This is, this is unusual. I got this on this Saturday before the Sunday. So, yeah, if you want that little bit of history. If you're abroad as well and you want that little bit of history details are there i gave the details earlier and it's probably back on the screen now just, just for you if you want to get a subscription anyway thanks for watching guys until we meet again oh that's one thing don't i oh that's one thing please stay safe blues come on city thanks for watching bye for now